What is up, guys? Kevin over at Leg Bros coming at you with a, what should be a very, very good one today. This is a complete collection that is all completed figs and things like that that, you know, that is very hard to find nowadays. Shout out to Oscar. Contact me on Instagram. This was $1,500, and it is a Star Wars collection, everybody. So you guys should all be super happy about that. These are harder to get. They are super expensive as well, but I believe these all should be in very good condition, and uh, that always makes it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get into this. Stores.ebay.com slash legros, where you can find most of this stuff. We are also on Whatnot sometimes, but not very much anymore, but uh, hopefully that changes sometime soon. But uh, that link down below will be in the description as well. And you can get up to $200 credit if you've never used Whatnot before. Make an account, make a purchase, and then boom, you get in a little credit lottery. Usually it's $10, uh, but sometimes it's up to $200. Uh, so you can see, they're all individually bagged as well, so I don't even have to bag them. Some I will unbag, like these guys I usually sell. Well, actually, the single, the regular battle droids I would sell by themselves. But there's some special stuff in here, so we're going to find... Hopefully all the tings we can. <laughs> a ting, of course, is a high valuable fig. High valuable? High value fig. Um, and so let's see what we got. This one has two in one because it probably came from the same set, but we will take those out because I do sell them separately. First off, we do have Padme Amidala, and our first ting of the day goes to our Republic captain. Uh, or pilot? Is he a pilot or is he a captain? I don't, know, I don't remember. Uh, looks like some of the ones that were sets together. It looks like he kept together, maybe. Uh, this one is Captain Panaka, and this one is, of course, our Padme Amidala. Uh, were there two of those? Oh, different Padme. <laughs> different Padme, same set, or uh, no, same type of set uh, is what they were going for, but different Padmes. I believe pretty much every Padme, this one I think is the least valuable of them, I want to say, um, but uh, we'll put her down there for right now. Could be valuable, you never know. Oh, Alderbido, one of the weirdest Lego pieces in all of history and time. The old version right there. That is a solid fig right there. Good one. This one is originally a pit droid, I think. One of the original pit droids. No idea on the value of that one. It's a buildable fig, so I'm guessing not much. Um, because buildable figs just didn't have a ton of value way back then. This one is a gonk droid. It's just the buildable gonk droid. There is no sticker on it. So I don't imagine that holds any value either. Uh, but it is cool. <laughs> it is cool nonetheless. We'll put it over there. Uh, next up, we have both versions of Watto, the gray hands and the tan hands. Both of those are going to go up in the ting pile as well. Uh, we have the other version of the Republic Captain. This is the other one. For some reason, their arms always do this. Their arms always are colored different than their torso. For some reason on that fig particularly, <clears throat> I find that all the time. And we have Captain Tarples as well. We're not going to consider Captain Tarples a ting just quite yet. <laughs> I think we will uh, we'll, we'll hold off on ting status for him. We do have Darth Maul here along with Anakin. I'm taking them out uh, of their cases. They were kind of bagged together. It looks like a lot of them are kind of double bagged, which is fine. Um, this one's going to go up here. This one's going to go down here. We do also have two of the kid versions of Anakin, two different torsos right there. I think pretty much all these are going to be different because it was a collection after all. Uh, so these ones, we don't have to take any of those out because they are both going to go down here. Those are both old Naboo figs. Uh, we have Qui-Gon Jinn, who goes at the top, and we also have a uh, Padawan Obi-Wan, but Padawan Obi-Wan, unfortunately not ting worthy but this one this one however <laughs> and all the figs are just absolutely beautiful which is which is just so good <laughs> when you're used to getting a whole bunch of figs you have to put together and might have torso cracks getting a complete collection is just a good idea it's just a really good idea oh hello there <laughs> don't mind if i do original watto fantastic fig right there not much to say other than that is absolutely great. Uh, Hunter is probably the only Bad Batch that is not super good at this point. Well, not super good, but they are um, kind of gaining their way into Ting status. So we'll put both of those up there. I don't think Hunter really belongs in there just yet, but we'll see. This one looks like a um, probe droid. Even They even bagged the droids. Another kind of probe droid. Those, I don't know any value on those. I have no idea. Uh, this is the new fifth brother, I believe. I don't think that's the old one. I'm 
pretty sure that's the new one. Now I have to look. <laughs> now I have to look. Uh, sorry if the camera shakes. Let's see. Fifth brother. I have to look. Oh, come on. Is it not called Fifth Brother? Uh, yes, that is the newer version of the Fifth Brother, not the older version. Of course, the older one is quite a bit more valuable uh, than the new one. Here we have a clone pilot, the yellow, and we also have what I believe is a U-Wing pilot. That might be the micro fighter version of that one, uh, but a great one right there. We'll put this guy down here. Of course, all of these, even though they're regular figs, they're not completely ting-worthy. Uh, of course, they're all fantastic. We're going to do well with them as well. Uh, there's our, um, oh, what was her name? I always forget her name. <laughs> From Camino. We have Sabulba here as well. He's good for about $10. Um, but doesn't quite make it. More Naboo guys right there as well. The droids I always have to look up, like uh, the specialty droids. This one's pretty cool because it's a clone captain with the back plate as well. So I'm pretty sure that one's pretty good. Some of these are better than others in terms of the print. Like this print is rarer in terms of the blue than this one. Um, and then we have another captain or a clone with or sorry, a uh, battle droid with the plate on the back. Not 100% sure on those ones, so these can go all with the droids as well. I don't know how this is going to go. We, this whole box is full. <laughs> There's another droid right there. We, of course, have Wald here from the original Pod Racer sets. And Alderbido, again, I believe, is... Uh, wait, is this the same? I think they're both Alderbido, right? Am I mistaken that? I'm pretty sure they're <laughs> That is the weirdest figs. No idea on the value of that guy. Haven't had that in forever. Uh, there's another Anakin and another version of a pit droid, I believe. Another buildable fig, so I don't imagine quite valuable, but you never know. You never do know. Uh, this one is going to be another Bad Batch fig, I believe. That is um, Crosshair. And then he is with Jar Jar. So we'll take Crosshair out here and put him up there. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? There's Sebulba. <laughs> uh, the first attempt, kind of like Alderbido, and then the second attempt. Interesting figs. Interesting figs. Never... I haven't gotten that one forever either, so I'm gonna put that one up there too. Another pit droid. I think there's all... I think they're all pit droids. Comment below if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Another Anakin. Uh, you can see this... The age of this collection was quite a bit of the older stuff. Another pit droid right there. More Gungans. More and more Gungans. There's Jar Jar, and then we also have a Naboo and a Gungan. Uh, there's also some new stuff in here. Uh, this is that uh, loader droid. I don't think he is quite valuable yet, but he is one that, if they don't remake again, could be a very good one. There is our Anakin with a helmet. I always forget what this guy's name is. All these weird droids. Is he actually supposed to have, like, a post right there. Oh uh, man, I think that one's pretty good too. I see that head all the time. I just never remember what it goes to. Uh, we have a hover tank pilot and a Charit Urmway, which is a great fig as well. These are from, let's see, this is not from the same set. That's just a regular clone, but this is Mace Windu from, what was it, the ATTE? I think he came in or something to that effect. Uh, with the printed legs. Surprisingly, I thought this guy was going to hold value quite a bit more than he does. He's still ting-worthy, but he's not nearly as much as I thought he would uh, be. Ooh, there's a good solid bag. 501st Pilot and a Clone Lieutenant. We'll just keep those in a bag because they're both going up there. Those are both ridiculously hard to find nowadays without cracks in them. I didn't actually check if those had cracks in them, but I'm just guessing that they didn't. Uh-oh, I can't get this bag open. Oh no, I can't get the bag open. We have Ayla Sakura and the clone pilot captain everything clone right there. We'll just put him up there. I can't get the bag open, so we'll just put him up there. There's a red ARF who would probably go up there as well, but we got stuff to do. We got we, we, we need room for uh, for our tings today. Let me tell you what, we even have our research is kind of uh, piled up. It's hard when they're in bags and I don't really want to take them all out of bags because I'm going to put them back into bags. You know how it goes, bag life. <laughs> there is, I believe... Um, Obi-Wan's Astromech times two. Uh, let's see, Stas Ali along with one of the newer versions of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Stas Ali belongs in the tank pile, Obi-Wan does not, and they will be each bagged separately as well. Oh my god, I can't get these bags. Is this what you guys have difficulty with when I sell you stuff? <laughs> these, these feel like the same bags that I use, and... Uh, Man, I cannot get this open. There we go. There we go. Yeah, they're all beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, it's so good to get collections that are actually just complete and good. Oh gosh, it feels good. <laughs> Staff's Ali, and then we have the newer version of Obi-Wan. Here's the Gungan you don't see very often. That is a um, the green version that came with the, the two Padus. There's another newer, that's uh, the Imperial Spy, and then Obi-Wan. I'm trying to remember what her name is, Talia or something like that? Uh, no, I don't think that's right. <laughs> There's our No Helmet Holes Ahsoka clone right there, along with a 501st Trooper. Oh, that's not, that's not a bad bag. That's not a bad bag. <laughs> Phase 2 Shock Trooper and a Wolf Pack Trooper. Hello, Dolly. And we might as well just throw Wolf in there as well. Yep. We might as well just put Wolf in there. I told you it was going to be a good one. I told you it was going to be a good one. Love buying collections that are all complete. Uh, those are both good. Those are both from the 75021 gunship. We have Padme and we have Obi. Here we have a Horn Company Trooper and a Mandalorian. Two of the um, assassin droids in different forms. There is the original uh, Utapau Trooper. They came with uh, Ayala Secura and also a clone pilot. Those are both good for up there. Let's see what else we have. There's another clone pilot and a gunner. We'll just put these ones down here just because we don't have the room. There's there's just good stuff in here, man. There's our uh, root beer astromech. That's Plo Koons, I believe. Uh, we have a sergeant and a Coleman Traber, which is a great one as well. Man. Hopefully you guys can still see all of it. <laughs> this is the original aerial uh, jetpack uh, clone from the turbo tank that Mace Windu came in. The light-up Mace Windu, or non-light-up, depending on which one you got. We have Mace Windu, speaking of Mace Windu, and Kiari Mundi from the newer versions. Also, uh, Ahsoka and our um, Anakin from, I'm trying to remember what that planet was called. Don't remember what the planet was called. This one is Suji, and we also have our Quinlan Voss. Quinlan Voss belongs in the Ting Pile. Suji does not. One of those bounty hunters that just nobody cared about. I don't know if she really had a huge... I don't even remember Suji, to be honest. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even remember her, so that's probably why she's not um, particularly valuable. But uh, Quinlan Voss, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. That's not his best form, but it is a good form nonetheless. There's another Obi-Wan Kenobi right there. We have Anaconda, and also... I always forget that guy's name. It's not Turk. It's, um... Yep, don't remember. don't remember. There's Turk. Turk Falso right there. And then a Super Mandalorian as well. I guess we'll have to open this bag too because one belongs and one does not. Turk's a cool fig though. But Super Mandalorian goes up there. Uh, we also have... Look at that. Look at that one. Aura Singh with her hair. You don't find that very often, do you? Uh, surprisingly, like, her hairpiece is super expensive. I almost wonder if it's better just to sell her hairpiece without her. <laughs> you might, you might get more money, but I actually have so many of them without hairpiece that, uh, I don't know. I have to start selling them without, oops, I did that wrong. Uh, that goes up there, that goes up there. We are going to run out of room. Look at this, we're not even, we haven't even dented this box. Good lord, do I love collections. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a Bark Trooper and a, uh clone pilot we'll put that up there here is the medical droid unfortunately does not have the stickers wonder what happened to that guy's stickers wonder if i have a piece that has that uh we do have palpatine from the venator there was the new ucs venator that was just released but this one was the original venator and everybody had to wait so long for the replacement of that <laughs> that set was pretty good i sold the one that i had um before the ucs venator came out there we have anakin with headset and an old version of obi Anakin with headset's probably like 20 bucks, so he's probably ting-worthy, but, you know, we got so much stuff up there anyways. <laughs> Shock Trooper and a Scout Trooper. Put those guys back up there. Episode 3, we have Commander Cody, along with an old-school Darth Vader. Let's see which Vader this one is, if it has his eyebrows or no eyebrows. I think Commander Cody's still up there. No eyebrows. Old-school Vader. That's a good one. We have Anakin and the uh, Wookiee from the Wookiee Catamaran. That one's a pretty cool one, too. Two commando droids. We also have Gree and a Bomb Squad Trooper. Gree, obviously, is very, very, very minimal uh, of the Ting Pile. Let's just put it right here because I don't want to have to open that bag. Uh, very, he's, he's kind of at the bottom of the Ting Pile, and this lot deserves uh, quite a bit. <laughs> There's Thysen. Goes along with that Anakin that we saw earlier. 
Sorry if you guys can't see what's going on. Is I don't know how better how to better do it. Uh, we have uh, sauce eighteen and another. Uh, what do they call those? The rank? No, the red ones are the rancor troop. That's just an ARF troop, right there. Uh, Dirt stains Anakin and the Phase Two Gunner both going up in the ting pile now. Dirt stains Anakin has just been rising and rising and rising. We have a five hundred first and Mace Windu from the newer sets right there. Ooh, look at that guy. The episode three green trooper along with another Dirt Stains Anakin with headset this time. Uh, we'll put those both up there. Of course, they are both fantastic. Couple Endor figs right here, Endor Leia and an Endor Commando. Uh, we also have a Ewok right here. This is Agent Callus with helmet and a Knight of Ren. Both of those guys can go up there into the ting pile. Can you even see those? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bags, man. Bag. We might have to clear this out just to continue to go. Uh, this is an ATAT -AT pilot, the blue version. Another Ewok. We probably do because they're going to start slipping off the desk here in a second. Burnt Crispy Anakin and a clone pilot. The clone pilot being the better of those two. There's a rebel friend in a tiny little bag. He's like, let me out. <laughs> this one, I believe, used to be valuable, and then they included him in another set. Uh, I'm trying to remember who that is, but. Um, Unfortunately, I think that's, is that Wedge or something like that? He used to be good. Now he's not so good. Uh, there's a Luke Skywalker, Dio, the most pointless droid in all of history and time. Poor guy. We have even Peel going up into the ting pile as well. Let's do that. Let me grab a bin here, and then I'm going to scoop the bagged bottom figs here off. Even though all of these are fantastic because they are Star Wars, uh, we're going to scoop these off here. And there we go. That way, that way, all their, I have a feeling that that um, Sebulba might be pretty good. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling it might be pretty good. <laughs> Look at how many are left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was expensive, but uh, hopefully well worth it. Uh, there we have more Bad Batch. We'll put those guys up there with, where's the other ones? Well, there's Hunter. Put them up there. Here, let's spread this out. <laughs> all right. Let's do this. I'm going to put this to the side and we'll keep adding to it. Hopefully I don't knock into it. Uh, that one is the green astromech, my favorite version of that. Another AT-AT -AT pilot. We have the Luke from Celebration. Ooh, there is the printed arms Imperial. That's a good one right there. There is our Quarren, I think is his name. I want to, I want to say Quarren. Episode three trooper or clone pilot. And I believe that goes into an arc uh ship this one arc pilot i think cody the original phase one cody so we got phase one and phase two uh this one's a little bit yellowed but we do have a uh phase two troop uh what do they call it grunt and then we also have a kashik trooper both of those good anakin or sorry anakin <laughs> hello there obi-wan <laughs> times two here is R5 and the red. I always I always think that that one's wrong, that version, uh, but it actually is a droid. I don't remember what the version of it is, but R5 is the better of the two right there. Sith Trooper, not bad. More Episode 3 and Captain Jag, I believe is who that is. We have a Niskin Guard, I think is what that one is. Uh, who's actually pretty good, probably could go in the ting pile, but we have Newt Gunray there as well. Gar Saxon and a less valuable version of Darth Maul, but we'll put those back up there just because I don't want to open the bag. Uh, there's Yoda. I know I'm kind of going both ways here. <laughs> so sometimes I'll open the bag if they're completely, uh, well, I guess Gar Saxon's way better. I can't. So I, I got no rules. All right. <laughs> I'm the boss. All right. I decide all the craziness that goes around. <laughs> there's another knight of ren of course all the knights of ren are fantastic uh who's this one i always forget that droid's name that's the newer version the newer droids they're super cool looking though love that one uh snow trooper and we have the old school yellow bosk to go along with it here we have bulio and i'm trying to remember her name but i don't remember i think both of those are mm, they're kind of mid mid ting pile right there uh, we have the newer version of the protocol droid with the wires. Not quite very good there. Some of these are really good um, sellers, like the Death Star Astromex I sell very, very well. Utapau, you have the new right here and the old. Helmet holes versus no helmet holes. 
<laughs> you guys, you guys can be in that discussion if you want down in the comments below. <laughs> There's a scout trooper. We also have um, our Mandalorian loyalist and bo -Katan. Whew, almost forgot her name. <laughs> Loyalist was featured in a poly bag or a magazine or whatever, so I think that one came down in value. bo still only like 15 bucks, so she could probably make it to the ting pile, but uh, not so much. There is our new Bib Fortuna and the new Gamorrean, not as good as the old versions. A Thai pilot, we have Grogu with the Santa outfit and the regular one, Santa one being the better of the two there. Here is our um, TIE Pilot with the red stripes. That one's actually pretty cool. There's just a regular uh, Stormtrooper. Kanan Jarrus, the blind version of Kanan Jarrus. That's a really cool one, too. We're still going. Snow Trooper. Dak Router, I believe, is what that one is. We have uh, Gregor from the old clone. Rex's ATTE, I believe, is what that one came from. Some more droids right there. And we have Palpatine from the Escape. Palpatine's Arrest Escape, and then we also have Anakin with the dual molded legs, both of those in the King Pile. More Death Star Astromechs. Looks like we got one of each kind. There is the, the that's the one you want of the Commandos because it has the uh, Galen Merrick face right there. Another Ewok. Oh, yes. Hello. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thank you very much. We'll take that one. And there is an Ewok and the goggled version of an ATST pilot. Old Grand Moff Tarkin, not quite as valuable as the newer versions. And we also have Han Solo. That's one I always have to look up because there are some good versions of Solo. I don't think that one is particularly the good one, but it's possible maybe it is. I don't know. Death Star Trooper, those are always pretty cool. About 10 bucks. Shadow Trooper right there. We have an ATDP pilot. A little bit yellowed there, it looks like, possibly. My daughter's favorite astromech, because that's like one of her favorite colors ever. The teal astromech, that one's pretty cool. Uh... Just some Rebels and some Snowtroopers. Here is another pilot. That one might be slightly yellowed as well. Uh, that's the 75021 pilot. And then we also have a clone to go with him. Since he looks like he's a little bit yellowed, we'll put him down there. But he usually goes in the tank pile. 501st troops, of course. All the new ones there. Uh, there's just an Imperial. One of the newer Imperials, it looks like, to be honest. Uh, Death Star Gunner, I think, is what that guy is. There's another TIE Fighter pilot. Inquisitor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the original Inquisitor and the original fifth brother to go up there. Man, I can't wait to add this stock uh, in there. These are all of the, um, like the Mithril and all them in the, um, wow. Why can't I think of what that's called? <laughs> oh my gosh. The freezing tank thing. Oh, what is that metal? Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. We're going to put that down there. Those are relatively new, so they're probably not very good. Uh, this one is Grief Karga. We also have Phase 2 Gree with the tan markings, and then also a Jag Pilot uh, right there, Arc Pilot. Uh, that one is C-3PO, and he actually does have the Restraining Bolt, so that one actually might go up there. Uh, and then we have a Sith Trooper and Zori Bliss. There's a Scout Trooper, another Dak Router. Uh, Lor Senteca, I think is... Wait, no, that's not Lor Senteca. That's, um... Yep, never, never remember that guy's name. Newt Gunray in the more valuable 9494 version, along with a Kashyyyk Trooper. We'll put those guys up there. We have Slave Leia. We'll see if we ever end up getting another one of those. Who knows? Comment below if you think we're going to get another one of those. <laughs> at, at Pilot and a Final Battle Luke. Not much to see there. There's another Pit Droid, I believe. Uh, just ATST pilot again, ATAT, -AT and a snow trooper. We have a Tuscan Raider. Oh, there's Chop, Chopper, and also this one that came with the Jabba's Palace. I don't remember what her name was. We'll put her down here, though. Chopper deserves his place up here with his friends. <laughs> we have a, I think that's a 501st Imperial, or it's just a new one anyways. Um, that's the, is that the bartender, I think? I always forget that guy, too. Pelimoto? Pelimoto? Pelimoto, right? Pelimoto? Newer figs, so probably not worth quite as much. I don't know what that droid is, and it's with a uh, Praetorian Guard. Not 100% sure on that one. Two different versions of Mando. We have the Snowtrooper, or sorry, the Stormtrooper does have the two marks on the back. If you're looking for that one, the dual-molded helmet without the two marks. That's the one you want. Mandalorians from the new sets. Uh, another Darth Maul and an IG-88, or is that IG-11? No idea. I don't think that's the valuable version of Darth Maul, though. I think that's the book version or something like that. Han Solo, and we also have one of my favorite characters, 
uh, right there with Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson's one of my favorite actors. Uh, there is Kira from that same thing as well. And then we have, that looks like a low print, is it not? I think that line is supposed to go up onto that, that line. I'll have to look at that. Uh, that's a Mando anyways. And just a regular uh, resistance fighter. Here's our Airborne 187th, I think is what those guys are. Uh, I'm trying to remember what that guy's name is. Rebolt, I think is that guy's name. Are you impressed with all these names yet? Clatoonian Pirate right there. We have Leia, the Resistance uh, resistance Transport Leia. We have the Armorer. I don't know if the Armorer is particularly valuable. Put that one next to that one. Sabine Wren, of course, with the arms. No helmet, it doesn't look like, though. Uh, but let's see. We have a one of the newer versions of the Scout Troopers. I love the I love the Scout Troopers. Those are my favorites. Um, <clears throat> Cara Dune. I had to think about that one. And Old School Luke. That one's not bad either. The uh, white version is a little bit more valuable than that one, but still pretty cool. I think that is a Skyhopper pilot, if I'm not mistaken. And we have a Sand Trooper with White Pauldron, along with a Hoth Rebel and another Grief Cargo. We can see light or bottom. <laughs> Two more Mandalorians. Not quite there yet, but we're, we're getting there. There's General Veers with his blue helmet there, and Poe Dameron with white cape, or white robes ray. Uh, another snow trooper right there, and we have, ooh, Paz Vizsla along with Boba Fett. Uh, Paz Vizsla, obviously the one that goes in the ting pile, Boba Fett not so much. Wolf in his old form. Hopefully we have Rex in his old form as well. I don't see him though. Uh, here is, ooh, look at that. There's Leia in the dress, and then we also have Zuckus, which is a great one right there. Uh, Han Solo's 20th anniversary. There's the Christmas Mandalorian. And Snoke. A lot of these will be restocked for me, which is really, really cool. Some of them I just, I needed so much. Uh, there is a Padawan Obi, I believe, again, along with Darth Vader. Let's see which head this is. Is it the White Vader or is it the... Yeah, white-faced Vader. That's a good one. Uh, and then we also have a pilot. I never remember what that guy's name is. No idea. Harrison Dula, of course. We needed all the room. <laughs> we have Lando Calrissian right here. Can you believe it? So many figs. There's an Imperial right there as well. Snow Trooper. We have Final Battle Luke, the updated version with those new hoods right there. And another Vader. That's Crispy Vader. Wait, is that the one with printing? Oh, that's with arm printing. We'll put him up there. Uh, that one's got arm printing as well. We'll put that one there too. I love the Vaders with arm printing. General Hux, he's kind of at the midline of being valuable or not. Uh, we also have Obi, or sorry, Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon Jinn right there. There's the Mortar Trooper or Artillery Trooper. He might be pretty good. He's kind of, we'll put him down there. Medical Droid, easy sell. Not 100% value, but uh, is an easy sell for sure. Just, just a regular Vader. Doesn't really belong on our table for this caliber. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi right there. A uh, Death Trooper. Not Death Trooper. What are those called? Dark Trooper. Dark Trooper. There is Qui-Gon Jinn as well with the little tiny mustache, which is actually kind of a cool fig. Barris Ophi with the black cape. Um... So many names. <laughs> Fennec. Fennec Shan. See, I got it. There's another Qui-Gon Jinn. We got all the Qui-Gons, it looks like, right here. Uh, Darth Maul, of course. I probably missed a couple of these. There's Reva. I think Reva is a valuable thing. I'm not 100% sure. She is still pretty new. TIE Pilot. There's the original Phase 2 Gunner, which has come down a little bit after the new one came out, but it's still pretty cool. Here is our Gungan sub version of Obi-Wan. And also... We have, well, Gideon, Moff Gideon. There we go. Moff Gideon right here. <laughs> you shouldn't forget that guy. He's, he's a good one. Uh, Obi-Wan, and we have, don't know what that one is. Probably a new skiff guard or something like that. Do, do, do. There's Padawan Obi, I believe, again, and a Stormtrooper. There's Fennec Shan with helmet right there. Yellow-faced Qui-Gon. We have the Qui-Gon collection right here. There is a Darth Maul and another Darth Maul. And another, oh, that one's got like a little shot on it. Huh, I've never seen those because I, I never keep them uh, or, or get them built anyways because I have parts so people don't give them to me. Look at that cape. Oh my gosh. Old Dooku. Old Dooku. The who's who of Tings today. Barris Offie again. Another Darth Maul. 
Uh, I believe that one, it's new, so I don't think it's going to be too valuable of Obi. Padawan Obi again. Uh, there is Captain Phasma. That can go up there as well. I don't think any of these ones actually became valuable, even though Woody Harrelson is the man. I don't think they're actually particularly super valuable. Uh, there's a 20th anniversary Leia. And another Padawan uh, Obi, along with headset Obi-Wan. Here is um, Mace Windu. Man, now I have to think about every name. We've said, we've said so many names today. <laughs> another Clatoonian and another Padawan or young version uh, of Obi. There is our Gungan sub version of Qui-Gon. And that guy has the helmet spots there as well. And the uh, poncho version of Qui-Gon. I think pretty much whole Qui-Gon collection right here. 187th. Those are pretty cool. Uh, there's another Knight of Ren and Count Dooku again with his saber. Awesome. The new version of the Inquisitor and Boba Fett. Let's see, Papa Palp. And another one of those dual molded stormtroopers. Good lord. This box weighed almost four pounds. And it was well worth the collection. I don't have to actually, I will check them all, of course, but I don't have to like put these together. We have a full bin of figs along with a full table full of awesome things. Thank you very much again, Oscar, my man. If you guys want to contact me on Instagram, if you have a collection to sell, obviously the price has to be reasonable. I am a business, so I have to make money as well. You're not gonna get full retail, but you get to sell it all at once, which is very, very handy. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to ship all these things. You don't have to, you know, post them all. It's uh, it's something that is a lot of back-end work and you have to take that into consideration. I get contacted by a lot of people and they just, they want like full retail value. I'm like, wh why would I? Then I'd be paying people to take it at the end. So um, I appreciate people who are very reasonable at the prices. Oscar was very reasonable, of course, at his price. And that works for me. If you guys want to hit me up on Instagram or you can use the business contact in the about section of YouTube, you can always do that. Comment below your favorite, uh, my favorite of the day. What am I gonna pick? I'm gonna pick this guy because I just never, ever get that guy anymore. The old version of Watto, fantastic figure. I have his little um, little square, so I'll probably, I might sell that and this together. Uh, I haven't really decided, but maybe we'll make a combo pack there. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. Thank you very much for spending 32 minutes of your life with me. I know how valuable that is, and hopefully you got your time's worth out of this one because this was a doozy of a haul love those collections sorry about the bags but i'm not going to take the time to take every one out of a bag it's just that would be crazy <laughs> only to put them back in a bag it would be nuts all right everybody love you and i'll catch you on the next one